I can't believe it. I'm going to be sh shooting, shooting Zoe's channel and Mark Ruffalo's place. I have all my gear here. I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> a bit. <laughs> Ignore all this. I still have to set up my tripod and everything and bring it there. I've been watching so many videos online, preparing and thinking of the shots in my head and got my new lens and cameras and everything so I'm really excited for this and the styling on the house interior design is so stunning luckily there are already photos taken so we're just planning our shot list in this Google Doc so here's the shot list we have we put every room here with photos so we know because the, the house is pretty hard to navigate online and then the shot list at the end, where is it? Yeah, and luckily there's this virtual tour happening, so we're able to just see the flow and the layout. We're just gonna do slider shots so we won't really be able to show like the flow of the house, but I guess they have this virtual tour anyway so they can see it from the... Also, side note. <laughs> I found some pictures of what the house used to look like before and it's so different, like how much the furniture can change things, so different. So I'm just going to take you guys along of how I shoot, I'm trying to get as much behind the scenes for you guys so you guys can see what it's like to shoot interiors, like architectural stuff behind the scenes. So I'm going to head there now, pack all my gear and we're going to go. I love my JH5 so much. So we're here and we're shooting. This is the outside of the guest house. The area is so, oh my god, I love this little shack down there. Can't wait to show you guys inside. Shooting here, <laughs> all our setup. Going from room to room. <laughs> oh, the light coming in is just insane. So nice too. Oh, it's a wrap. I'm home now and I just imported all the photos and videos into my computer. So I'm gonna sort through. I have no idea what Andrew got, so I'm gonna see what he got. And I feel like I was just kind of like running around shooting so I don't even know what I would get and also for some of the shots I did three to do HDR or more so I have to compile them and see what it looks like in post. Kind of nervous but excited. So let's just go through the footage and I'll show you kind of how I do it and then put it into Premiere Pro and then editing it. So what I've been doing is I've imported it's all here, all my videos. And you did such a good job, actually. I'm like really impressed. Um, and then I just drag into my chosen folder and I've just gone through. So I'm now just gonna put it straight into here. Have that load. There's like a hundred something files, so I'm just gonna go through right now. My favorite editing snack. Time to edit. Put my favorite filter. Time to edit. Currently editing, you can see. I've been merging these three photos. Oh my god, they were all not so good. <laughs> and then I've made this one, added my, oops, added my preset, figure out all the 
Um, the coloring looks pretty sharp, looks pretty good. I think that's one of my solid shots. Gave it a five star. A Now with the editing, I've pretty much already done. I've reordered stuff, kind of like my favorite to all right clips. And I think I'm gonna export it, but yeah, stabilize. I know, I, I'm pretty impressed by it. My first proper video, that host, not like the other ones. Okay, so I pretty much edited everything. I just wanted to go through and show you guys kind of like a walkthrough of my pictures. So I want to show you the exteriors that I did first. Um, it was pretty hard shooting this cardyard area just because, I don't know. Like there are just too many angles you can shoot at and there's like that hill going down. So that was kind of difficult, but I'll show you what I have so far. Um, and then also like facing into the building. I'm just going to put because all the clips like on the side here somewhere and then one of my first shots was the guest house. So the guest house was really interesting to shoot in because you had these blinds. I kind of you'll see here. I kind of wish that I closed the blinds. I didn't create those like four box spaces. It was really well lit, easy to shoot relatively. Yeah, in general, I kind of wish that I remember to turn the lights off or I know for future shoots to turn off the lights because it really like gave a yellow glow to my photos which is good but in my intention it was like all natural light had I known that lights on I might have shot things differently but you live and you learn and oh I really like this shot of outside the guest house with the two chairs I just feel like it's very kind of like cinematic as if you can walk wa imagine someone walk through or like kind of like paints a setting for the house then I went straight and shot in the living room, which I wish I turned off, turned off the dining room light, but this was the most stunning room to shoot in. This was the room that kind of made me like, okay, I really want to photograph this house. Everything about it was just perfect from the high ceilings and that little archway. For this photo, I kind of learned how to do auto white balance on my computer on Lightroom because it was way more yellow and matte before and it just didn't like that look and I kind of posted on some forms so that's what they you know told me to fix so I did that and then the next one was the sunroom so this one I did HDR on the photos and kind of blended in the backgrounds as you can see you can still see a little bit of the trees but not as much as if I did it like one shot all ambient light the trees would have been washed away and I think that's just some sort of like detail that shows you that you can like look out and there's like the trees in the back and the courtyard. This photo is kind of the, I don't know what this room is, study room, work room, office room maybe. It's like full of couches. I should have done an HDR on this photo because if you can see it's kind of like blown out at the, the windows but I wasn't too sure on how to shoot the room. There's also a lot of lights around the room, orange lights, and also the study, which I'm going to show right here. It was kind of difficult to shoot because the light was so bright, and I shot it with like that prop drawer box, which I wasn't really sure because it was so orange, but I posted online, people said they actually really liked this shot, which was really cool. And then we skip ahead to the second room. This room was surprisingly very difficult to edit because it was just looking super yellow. I think the wallpaper might have been yellow, so it kind of reflects that, but I wanted it to get a kind of a wider feeling to it. I can't remember if I auto balanced this. It might have looked too blue if I auto white balanced it on Lightroom. So there's that. And then I shot the main guest room, which had a lot of different angles to shoot at, and I couldn't really figure out which to shoot. So I'll show you like what I ended up with in the end. Oh yeah, this room is so stunning. I feel like. I'm still thinking how else I could have captured it because I feel like I haven't fully captured 100% of all the essence. So there's that. Um, and then the the bathroom was just so stunning. Like loved it so much. Um, online on the forums, they should I said I should have like flashed my flash to remove some of those shadows, but just such a stunning room here in the bathtub. I'm so glad that I got to shoot a picture of the standing shower with the marble and the arch on it like just so stunning 
Then we get to the kitchen and sitting area. This one I did HDR surprisingly, even though the windows seem like really, <laughs> really blown out. But um, I still tried to, you know, keep some in focus and not too obvious looking. I guess I could have went harder on the HDR. I don't know why I didn't. Would have looked nice actually now more I think of it. Um, oh, yeah, I got a shot of like going into the kitchen, which I didn't really like. Like I didn't really think it through for this one. It was kind of like a quick shot that I did. I luckily did one like closer, tighter frame, which came out better, but wasn't too fond of the yellow lighting. And then I did some shots of the back of the the front, the front of the house with the chairs. So those were fine. I don't, I don't know. I could have done HDR with this to get the sky a bit bluer, but kind of like the washed out look. That's that, and I'm gonna upload the video that I shot of this soon, so you can see I'm so excited about that. Like, so lucky to shoot this house. So, hope you guys enjoyed my behind the scenes and the final photos. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, and... Yeah, if you like these videos, I'll try to shoot some more for you guys. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. I start off doing a bunch of other videos, but I'm gonna start focusing on interior, architecture, photography, like behind the scenes. I'm really just starting up on this, so don't take my word for a lot of this. Just kind of like on the journey with me when I learn my skills, as you can tell that I'm just like posting my pictures on forums and seeing how I can prove. So. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Bye, guys!